and a new arena season has come to Prodigy. Yes, you guys heard me right, this is One Doctor Genius, and in today's video, we're talking about the new arena season which has dropped its way straight into Prodigy. Right, and as of when I'm recording this, it is December 2nd, and as you know, on the 28th of every month, the arena season ends, and it begins on the 1st of every month. So, it's one day overdue, so that means we have had a new arena season in Prodigy for 24 hours, right? So, let's head over to Lamplight Town to check out what our new arena season is. Bam, let's cross across the street, cross across the street, yeah, crossing across the street, tongue, tongue twister. Right, and now over here, as you guys can see, we arrive next to the Coliseum, so let's head inside, bam! Here we go, now we're inside of the Coliseum next to Clankbot and the Arena Caller. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna check out what the prize pool is, and what type of arena season we're going into. Right guys, so it is a contest of champions of December, it ends in 26 days, 13 hours, and 53 minutes, right, so... As you guys can tell, the arena season has been going on for approximately 3 days now. And over here you guys can see, I'm at a glorious 0 trophies. And I've done a glorious 0 amount of battles. And I've done absolutely nothing over here. Now guys, I'd recommend you guys stick until the end of this video if you guys want to know how to fill your bar up super quickly, right? So that's basically what Contest of Champions season this is. Let's check out what the prize pool is. Right, so over here you guys can see it's the prize pool board, so let's click on it, and BAM! Over here, as you guys can see, this season is centered around being a spy, yes. You guys heard that right, in this video, all of you guys are gonna be becoming evil spies in Prodigy, and stopping evil people. Right, so over here you guys can see, in all in all, in order to collect all of these items, you'll need approximately 20 to 30,000 trophies, and it's 20 to 30,000 if you want the grand prize, otherwise you only need 15,000. Now, at 1,000 trophies, you guys can obtain yourselves the soul of the spy. Yes, you take their souls away. Nope, not that, guys. So, the, basically, these are the souls of the spy. These fancy dress shoes contain lost lace calm links to the spy at you. Right, so it seems like these are some sort of evil spy shoes. Okay, so this is a hard bonus of 6, and it seems like these are some sort of evil spy thingy bobber, where it basically has cal calms on your feet. Yes, who puts communications on your feet? Ah, yes, feet. Just keep the communication line on your feet straight to the Spy HQ. And over here, you guys can see these cool, these shoes look pretty cool. They look like our school shoes over here. But meh, this price, it's pretty decent. If you guys ask me, a hard bonus of 6, not too bad. The highest hard bonus which you can get as of right now is a hard bonus of 8. Now, next up, we have the Shades of the Spy. Dun dun dun, sounds like some sort of awesome sunglasses. Alright guys, so in order to obtain these awesome sunglasses with a microphone, you guys need to get 3,000 trophies! These glasses have x-ray vision and danger sensing. Wear them at all times. Right, so basically it seems like these are some super cool spy glasses with x-ray vision and danger sensing so it can tell when something's about to fall over or whether or not you're in danger. This has a hard bonus of 6 like all of the other items and it looks pretty cool. I think I'm going to be going up for the arena season in order to get this and every week I'll be posting an update on it. But yeah, over here we have the suit of the spy. Fancy enough for a royal ball, but tough enough to face a cannonball. Yep, you guys heard that right. Over here we have the super strong spy boot. Super strong spy suit. With the tensile strength strong enough to face a cannonball. Definitely not that of wood. Interesting, so this is a heart bonus of 6. And it basically seems like a cream white suit with black stripes. And basically, it's like those black and white tuxedo except you inverted the colors, right? That's basically it. I don't know how to describe it. I mean, honestly, I've never worn this, but okay. Bam. Basically, now, if you guys get all of this stuff, you guys are ready, but what does what every single spy need? Every single spy needs a weaponized umbrella. So over here at 15,000 trophies, you guys can get the umbrella of the spy. Right, so now if you click on the umbrella of the spy, it says, A true secret weapon. No one expects face this one disguise as an umbrella in battle. Surprise! Alright, as you guys know, it's an umbrella, so obviously it's going to cast the spell Splashdown. I mean, it's an umbrella. You protect yourself with water from it. You use the umbrella to protect yourself from the rain. So what you do is you just swoop your umbrella upside down, so the rain collects in it, and then you just tip it over to the enemy team. Right, so this is a three-person spell, like with all umbrellas and wands. And it does a power bonus of 10, so it's not too bad. It's equivalent to the membership box item this month. But all in all, this looks like a pretty cool wand. If you guys ask me, I mean, I'd like, I'd try to get this. Now last, but definitely not least, in the season prize pool, we have, we have the grand prize, the mini spy bot. 
And now this spy ball will only be awarded to the top thousand players of Prodigy, right? Let's click on it. He always has your back and never leaves old batteries on the sidewalk. Alright, this is an awesome spy ball. It seems like this spy ball always has your back and doesn't leave leftover batteries on the pl on the sidewalk, right? This is a good spy bot. It does not it does not pollute the environment and recycles. Good job, spy bot. It seems like the spy bot is like basically a miniature version of a spider with a giant head, which is scary if you guys ask me. Yeah, so the only way you guys can obtain this is by being on the top thousand of the arena season. And yeah, that's basically all, meaning you guys will have to get like up to 20, over 20,000 trophies to even reach the top thousand. That's nuts, right? So now over here, let's head to the arena caller and see what the highest person in the season leaderboard is. Right over here, over here at, at number one, we have Nathan Springspoon. Alright guys, so this is what the avatar looks like. It's pretty cool if you guys ask me, 10 out of 10. And over here, as you guys can see, in just one day, this human managed to rack up 28,600 arena points. That is absolutely insane. This guy has blown it out of the park. Well, I could probably like do like 10 or 20 or maybe 30 battles in a day. This guy on the side over here does 286 battles. Holy guacamole, that is a lot. These people must be busy all day. And the 30th place winner goes to... Mountaineer Brendan. Rates right, a Mountaineer Brendan over here has 16,305 battle stars, right? Five arena points. So this means this person basically did 163 battles and lost one in a day, right? In a day, you managed to do 300, 163 battles. These people are absolutely insane, guys. So you guys can tell competition for top place is very tough. I remember I made it to like top 10 on the leaderboard and then I'm like meh, I don't want to be in the top 10 anymore. And weird trend is all of the top 10, weird trend is that some of the people on the top 30 are members. But it's not all of them and over here as you guys can see, it seems like second place is lacking behind by a thousand and three hundred. So second place better step up his game to 13 battles and then beat Nathan. So treasure hunter Sebastian, you better hurry up in order to catch up. There we go, so basically that is what's up in the leaderboard and now I'm gonna be showing you guys how to complete this red bar super easy, right? So now in order to do this, there's a fun fact, right? Just remove all of your pets, right? remove all of your pets, all of your armor, right? As you guys can see, I removed all of my armor and now go into an arena season battle, right? Click the start button and find a challenger. Right guys, so here's the thing which you might not know about that status bar, right? That status bar works both ways. So meaning if you lose a battle, you still get to go up. If the battle is a draw, you still get to go up. If you win a battle, you still get to go up. Right guys, so over here I'm going to be showing you guys how that's done by losing a battle, right? Hopefully this person uh, decides to like let the battle happen and I'm not stuck on this waiting speed for like one minute. So we'll see. Alright guys, let's head into an arena battle. Boom! Find challenger, here we go! Let's find a challenger and lose a battle. Right over here, it seems like we're going up against level 100 Supermax. So now what I have to do is I basically just have to lose this battle, that's all. I can answer any random question. You know what, let's just answer all of these questions correct. And you guys will see, I will lose this battle with ease and our opponents will be able to win. Right, let's wait for our opponent to cast their spell. Bam, there you guys go, opponent has casted his spell. And, well, I've casted my spell on the opponent, which did 3000 damage. And now our opponent cast his spell back, which did 3000 damage to us. So right now, as you guys can see, our health is almost even. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast another series of attacks until the point where my health is like about to die. Alright, here we go. We've just casted our spell on our opponent doing 4,000 damage. Right, that is almost one third of the opponent's health. And our opponent cast the same spell back, doing approximately one fourth of our health back to us in damage. Right, that's almost half of our health back to us in damage. Now over here, as you guys can see, I will be losing the battle over here. And once I lose the battle, you guys will see that my tiny arena bar on the bottom still goes up, right? So this is much faster, and this is an easier way, because not only do you have to lose 10 battles, well, what's 10 times 5? Alright guys, so the only thing you have to do is do this 10 times, and each time which you guys lose, what happens is that, well, what here's what happens, right? Every time you lose or a battle comes out in a draw or you win, you guys get arena points. If it comes out to a draw, you get 50, and if you win, you get 100, but if you lose, you get 5, right? Lose 10 times, and you got 50 arena battle, arena points, right? Now, the next thing is, but you also get 1,000 arena points as a bonus gift for losing 50 times, right? For not winning, but you guys get gifted for losing 50 times, right? 
Here you guys go. I just lost the battle. So now over here, I will be receiving five battle stars. Right? Here we go. Shaplow! Five battle stars obtained. Now over here, we have a level 100 wizard with maxed out stars. And boom. There you guys go. Just like that. Boom, there you guys go, just like that, we've done a battle, and now if you open up and look over here, down over here, you guys will notice, 1 out of 10, right, so that means you guys can continuously keep on losing battles, and you'll still get points for this, you can just lose 10 battles, and that's all, boom, you're in the top 400 or 500, that's crazy, right, you just have to lose 10 battles, not even win. So yeah, that's basically how you fill up this bar super quickly. And that is all for today's video. One Doctor Genius out the house. And also guys, if you enjoyed this video and found these tips and tricks useful or found this news useful, I recommend you guys hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, and give this video a humongous thumbs up if you guys didn't already. And I will be catching you all next time. One Doctor Genius out the house. And